Eleven days flew by like a bunch of seagulls as Venice hosted a cornucopia of stars and a mixed bag of movies. Ambitious, controversial, provocative, dark, quirky, unexpected and sometimes funny, but often too long, showing a bit of a lack of sharp scissors. All in all, Julian Moore's jury didn't have an easy job awarding. They gave the Marcello Mastroianni Award for Best Young Actor or Actress to newcomer Taylor Russell for her zombie girl opposite Timothée Chalamet's Zombie Boy in Bones and All. What I've been thinking during listening to everybody at this table talk is that I'm just, how did I get here among these people? Um, anything that could happen is uh, a, ge a gift beyond um, beyond belief in so many ways. I mean, I'm not expecting <laughs> uh, much, but um, and so it's great to be here in the present and and celebrate, especially a film that I love so much. Martin McDonough took home best screenplay for what most critics saw as the best movie in Venice, The Banshees of Innie Sharon pairing his In Bruges stars Brandon Gleeson and Golden Globe winner Colin Farrell again. I don't think it was so much uh, thinking of a, of a line or a soul between the In Bruges characters, but it was more <clears throat> loving their souls as actors and, and wanting to, to work with them again um, because they're such lovely, you know, thoughtful, uh, intelligent people. Um, and I've, I've just wanted to, to bring the, those guys back together for, for years and years. Um, it just seems crazy that it's taken 14, because uh, I guess I'm just really lazy. It did feel sort of palpable that uh, the audience wanted to see them back together. And I think, uh, I think that's one of the nice things about the film, is we get that in a very different film. It remains unknown if Golden Globe winner Kate Blanchett took a short vacation with her mother and daughter in Venice after the premiere of her movie Tar, anticipating her winning the Coppa Volpi for Best Actress, but she was the biggest star in the room. We asked her where she ranks this prize among the many awards she's won. This festival is very dear to my heart. I think it's an incredible gateway um, for, for, for cinema from all corners of the globe. Um, <coughs> So it's an incredible hub. Um, and I think if you look at the lineup of the jury, to have the respect and adulation of that particular group of people is remarkable and means the world to me. But I think, you know, occasionally, and it's sometimes you can count on two fingers, um, a project comes along that seems to synthesize a whole lot of stuff that you've been thinking about personally, but yet the questions that the endeavor asks are actually monumental and far bigger than any individual, and that happened to be the script that Todd Field had written. Um, so, uh, you know, and it was such a remarkable collaboration. I think occasionally you get to deeply collaborate with someone, and given that it's been such a long respite between Todd's um, last cinematic endeavor and this, I feel so lucky to have um, encountered him and collaborated with him, and I feel forever changed by it. So, um, you know, as I said, once again in my speech, I feel like I'm talking too much and I've said too much already, but, um, you know, it, it really does belong to him. Missing his first ever win in Venice for Best Actor in person, Colin Farrell had an issue with fruit in Los Angeles. Apple got in the way with shooting his new show that wouldn't allow him to return to Italy, so he raised a bunch of bananas in lieu of his Coppa Volpi and asked director Martin McDonough to bring back the big cup to him. No Venice would be complete without an Italian win, and Luca Guadagnino was the jury's safest bet for best director of Bones and All, for which he took home the Silver Lion. The Grand Jury Prize, also a Silver Lion, went to the deserving Senegalese French documentary filmmaker Alice Diop for her first feature film, a heavy-duty drama called Saint-Omer. And the special jury prize was accepted by the two leads of No Bears, Reza Haidari and Mina Kavari, since the film's director, Jafar Banai, is in jail for political reasons in Iran. I can't take my eyes off this 
empty place. Now me and Reza, we are both of us sad, but I think that uh, he, in, even in jail, he's, he's uh, he resisting and he continued to making a movie and is already thinking about his next movie. Other than the Banshees of Inisherin, there was no clear frontrunner, so the jury gave the Golden Lion for Best Film to the Best Documentary. Director Laura Poitras' All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, about famed photographer Nan Golden's protests against the big pharma family, Sackler. Poitras selflessly didn't use her time to bask in the kudos. It's an absolute honor to receive this award as a woman director and also as a documentary filmmaker. And um, yeah, I'm really speechless. And as I said on stage, I just want to also remind everyone in the room that um, that one of the films that's been awarded, the Chafa Panahi, can't be with us and, um, and that we all need to fight for his freedom. So please, um, anyone who has a platform, please use it to, to release Panahi and, and any other imprisoned filmmaker. Art is always at risk because I think art, at its at its best, is it's a it's provocative, it's rude, it's impolite, and I mean traditionally artists have sat outside society, and now we're somehow at a table with lots of gilded objects in front of us, which I think probably um, is a danger, but it's also a prov provocation to us to keep you know in that space so that we keep the questions exciting. I mean, I think, uh, you know, I mean, I come from a, a culture where um, art in a way doesn't even exist. I mean, your worst nightmare is that you're going to get in a taxi and someone's going to ask you what you do for a living, you know, and so I think that that's what it keeps us robust and um, engaged. As Kate Blanchett, with her daughter in hand, left the building, we perused the films, the stars and, oh yes, the crazy outfits of the past two weeks and swore by that as we bid Arrivederci to Venice. We'll save our Ciao Toledo di Venezia for the same time next year. Music